Today we're going to do a quick follow up on the Canon 10 to 18 with this metal EF mount mod. How's it going everyone? My name is Nick. Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I replaced the uh, plastic EFS mount on the back of this Canon 10 to 18 with a metal EF mount. And I did a small demonstration just to kind of show how much wider it could be using the speed booster, but there was a couple of things that I didn't really talk about. The first is, is if you use that speed booster on a uh, Canon M50, when you have this thing all the way out to 10, you actually get a pretty heavy vignette around the corners. The uh, uh, upside to doing this is if you want to try and use the 4k on something like the Canon M50 then because of the additional crop you actually can zoom this all the way out to 10 and you get no vignette the only downside is obviously you still have the poor autofocus in 4k so real quick we're gonna switch over to the M50 with the 10 to 18 and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Here we are zoomed all the way out to 10 in 4k on the M50 and as you can see it's super wide like I can fill the whole frame by spreading my arms out. We're gonna zoom in real quick to 18 just so you can see what that looks like. And here we are at 18. I have the face tracking on. I don't know how well I'm actually staying in focus. But we've got the aperture opened up to 3.2 when we're all the way at 10, which it lets in much more light than it used to without the speed booster. So as you can see, this lens with the speed booster on the M50 gives a pretty usable wide image. All right, switch back to the 90D now. I haven't had a chance to review the footage just yet from the M50, but hopefully it looks pretty good. Hopefully the autofocus actually stayed in focus on my face. I had the face tracking on the whole time, so hopefully it was actually able to hold on. I've seen a few examples where uh, the autofocus just could not stay locked onto the face and it just would kind of go in and out constantly. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and maybe subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.